Hi and welcome to this video about how to get a link or a hyperlink in your MailChimp newsletter. It's a pretty quick video and it's going to be pretty easy you'll be pleased to know. So let's head over to our MailChimp email campaign. So you've already got your email campaign open, you've put your image in, your headline, your text in, but how do you get this link? So very frequently in email newsletters, we will promote our blog articles and we'll have a little short summary of the blog article and then say, okay, if you'd like to read more, go here. So that's what I'm going to do with this. But this could equally be used for an event and you might have book here. And if you've got your event up on Eventbrite or somewhere else, you might want to link to that website. Or maybe you've got an informative document or you'd like to link somebody to a very authoritative site that has more information. So all those cases, you're inviting people to click on a link that says read more or book now or sign up or something like that where they get taken off to another website. So how do we do this? Well, let's have a look at the text module. If we click on the edit pencil tool here in the menu, we know that we click on that and the text module opens up for us to put text in. Read the, f read the full article here and I could put a full stop or sometimes I like to do those two greater than signs as a kind of action kind of thing, but you can do it how you want. Now, I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to click on this chain icon. This icon that's fourth from the left, this is your link or chain icon, but it's a link icon. So I click on that and now it says, well, give me the web address. Now, I could type that web address in or what I very frequently do, and I think it's more foolproof than typing because you only need one typo, one spelling mistake, and the link won't work. So I think it's much more foolproof to actually have the website up and copy uh, the address from the website, then paste it in here. So I, in readiness, I already had this article up and I can click and drag so that it highlights that blue, or I can quickly click three times. Either way, I wanna see that highlighted, and once that is highlighted, I can Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC, and that copies it. Then I go back over to my MailChimp um, tab, and now what I'm going to do is take that HTTP out because I've already copied the whole web address and I'm going to control V on a PC or command V on a Mac to paste and there it has pasted it and now I can insert it. And now that is your link. That's it, that's all to, there is to it. Now, I will just show you a button link as well because buttons are often used to get people to click. So if I drag over the button module and now that opens up and I might just put read more and again it's going to link to a web address and because I haven't copied anything between the two demonstrations if I command V or control V the web address I'm hoping is still in the clipboard and it is I can see it comes up there save and close and now I have a button with the link as well so whether you want a text link or a button link that's how you do it in MailChimp good luck